Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen of St. Paul's United Church of Christ in Amityville, Pennsylvania. Today we're again at St. Paul's Cemetery, the one that's across the street from the church. A couple days ago, I shared the story of Jeremiah Pyle, and since then I've learned there are a couple details that I left out or didn't quite get right. Uh, one is that as I was telling the story of his father Jacob and that when he signed that document which is posted in our breezeway between the sanctuary and the FLMC, when he signed that in 47, he had 1847, he had three children, 12, 10, and I didn't mention that little Jeremiah was just three years old at that time, the one who would give his life at Antietam. I think I mistakenly mentioned Gettysburg at one point, but it was at Antietam that he lost his life. And I also misunderstood that his cousin, George Pyle, now both their grandfathers had grown up near Daniel Boone Homestead, um, but his second cousin was on the field that day about two hours before he lost his life, but it looks like or he did uh, live beyond that battle and led, led a, a full life after that. Thank you to Randy Van Fleet for continuing to share that story, and uh, he's posted about it in the Amityville Historical Society. I'd like to share something as we're here, and you'll see that there are flags in this field um, that uh, honor those who served their nation. Some of them may have died in battle, some of them came home and lived long lives and lived among us as some that we will remember in just a few moments. But I'd like to read something that was read in 1863 as another cemetery was being dedicated. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place. For those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. These, these brave men, living and dead, who struggled here, have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that care for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of new freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, and for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Our scripture today comes from Revelation 14, 13. Hear the word of the Lord. Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Write this, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, that they will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. I want to thank one of our members, Ken Biles. He's been helping us to update and keep a list of veterans in our congregation, people who have served in World War II or Korea or Vietnam and possibly some other conflicts. And sadly, in the last few years, since he's been helping us compile that, 
some of them have passed away. And so yesterday in our worship service, we remembered them and I'd like to remember them again today. Lord, today we remember Harold Althaus, William Anderson, Merle Bach, Earl Groff, Arthur Hartline, Merle Harner, Joseph Hayek, Donald Hausman, Kenneth Heimel, Ralph Herbine, Charles Herzog Jr., Henry Johnson, Robert Keller, Harold Kutz, Martin McLean, Victor Meese, Robert Mooney, Arthur Oxenford, Linwood Rhodes, Barry Rhodes, Harry Rigel, James Smith, and Ronald Smith. O oh Lord God, as we honor these fallen soldiers, may they rest in peace in your care. Amen. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on.